You may have seen it out there. You may have heard little whispers on the net. Maybe Jacob, maybe Josh was involved. Maybe you've seen stuff on social media that you shouldn't have yet. But we're officially allowed to talk about it now and it's the Graco Ultra Quick Shot. So let's get into an unboxing and cover what comes in the box standard. We're gonna cover what projects this unit's for. We're gonna go over who should be buying it. So what is the Graco Quick Shot? It's the most portable airless touch-up spray gun in the market. Built into a compact little system, it's super lightweight and it's driven by 18 volt DeWalt batteries. Comes in this super handy compact system with a grip handle so that way you can pick it up easily and carry it around or on a belted strap. How cool is that? But we'll get into this shortly. Comes with a 1.8 meter flexible hose and it uses an electronic trigger system to get the most accurate finish possible. This gun will reduce spitting while also being the most flexible and portable in its class. If you're used to traditional spraying where you've got a larger trigger, it feels a little bit different, but this is the world's lightest trigger pull in an airless spray gun system. And once you actually start spraying, you get used to it and it feels pretty natural. The cool thing about having all the electronics in the handpiece is you have on-demand precision flow control through this dial at the back that allows you to adjust the pressure up and down. So that way you can switch between tips and get that job done quickly. If you're doing the interior of a cupboard, maybe you've got to do the edges and cut in. You might run with a 210, smaller tip, dial that pressure back, get it done. If you're doing the larger sections, maybe you're using a 414 or a 412 and you'll cover those bigger sections. Super easy to adjust. Where this unit sits in the range, it sits just above the Ultra Max unit, which is the premium handheld unit, and then just below something like your GX19. The newly developed quick shot pumping system allowed Graco to develop the 950mm pour and go cup assembly system. You might be thinking, it's just a cup. However, the new development and the way that this unit primes allows you to spray and top up very small amounts while the unit's mounted on your hip. So when you're doing small projects, you can easily top up the right amount and get the job done faster. This unit's been intentionally developed to feel familiar. What I mean by that is the trigger system, the standard tip guard system, the pressure dial similar to your handheld units and also your prime switch. The only small difference here is with the prime switch, prime is now up instead of down because the cup orientation is up instead of down. Small thing, but I guarantee for a little while there, you'll be trying to push it down and wondering what's happening. The cool thing about having the cup orientation on the top instead of the bottom is that you don't have to create a vacuum seal in order to prime the unit. Gravity is going to do the job for you, which means it'll be cleaner and easier to set up. Another cool advantage there is that there's less moving parts, which means less can go wrong. So what do you get in the box? Well, obviously you get the unit itself and you get the handpiece with the pre-attached 1.8 meter hose. You also get the cup assembly. It's a 950 mil cup assembly. So I'll show you what that looks like. Take off the lid. Inside here, we've got a 60 mesh filter. You also get a 100 mesh filter with this and they followed the same traditional color coding method where 60 is black and 100 is blue. In order to take this cup assembly off here, we've got this button on the side. We just poke that and twist it and this system comes out. You see that you've got a O-ring there to seal that cup and this is where the pumping system is. That slots in and clicks in. The strainer also sits pretty secure in there actually as well. And then the cup lid just screws on like so. With the handheld, you're used to closing the vacuum valve on the side of the cup, but with this little flap, you're gonna to wanna to leave it open when spraying just to allow atmospheric pressure to push the paint down into the pump. When you're storing the unit, you'll just wanna flick it over and close it just to make sure that there's no air or anything getting inside the pump and corroding it. it comes with a really nice rubber handle. It's got a really good grip on here and it's actually quite comfortable in the hand. It's a few ridges for your sort of fingers to get around and it just feels really natural and comfortable when holding it. It's super lightweight at only 2.9 kilos so even when this thing's full of paint carrying it around on the handle is really nothing. You get two tips included with the unit. One on the gun with your Rack X blue tip guard you get a FFLP 514 on the gun and you also get a FFLP 210 included in the packaging. For the charging, you get two 18 volt DeWalt batteries and you also get your standard DeWalt charging system. So if you've got any other DeWalt tools, 
you'll be able to interchange the batteries. These are the standard 18 volt batteries that come with the unit. Can you run bigger batteries? Yes, you can, but they're not included because it's a touch up gun and it's not intended to do a crazy amount of work. If you've got a bigger battery and you're running it and you're just running it constantly, you may find that you're overworking the unit and it might be time to step up. As much as we want to just use it because it's great, it does have limitations. Let's go over the bit that you've probably been waiting for, the belt system. So you get this cool little blue belt strap system. The way it works is you just unroll it wrap it around. It's got a little latch here that you want to open and much like a normal belt it's got some jaggedy teeth on it and you just sort of compress it. So let's feed that through and get it nice and right. Put it just above my waist. I like to make sure this is pretty nice and tight. Latch it off. Press it down quite tight. It's secure. Then we've got this section here. The way this goes is you want it to go this way and feed this section through the belt. So put these feet underneath and then that goes over the top and it sort of, you'll feel it slip into place. And once it's in there, it's actually quite comfortable and quite secure. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up the unit and it's just gonna slot straight in. You'll hear a little click and that's how you know it's slotted in and now it's secure. Greco's made a pretty cool little latch system on this, so that way, once you slot it in, it's not coming back out unless you release it. And I have to say, done a bunch of testing, we've sprayed quite a bit, and it's very secure, it's not going anywhere. If you wanna release it from the belt, what you're gonna do is you've got this little thumb latch here, so you're gonna pull this latch in and lift up, and that releases it from the belt. You can latch it in on both sides if you choose. But yeah, very easy, very cool system. So that leads us to what can you actually spray through this unit? You can spray water-based solvent and flammable coatings. It's not gonna handle super thick coatings. It's not a roof spraying machine. You can't spray a roof with it. The thickest coat you can spray through this unit is an exterior top coat, something like a weather shield as mentioned. Um, but if you're spraying stains, lacquers, varnishes, interior wall coatings, trim, enamels, ceiling flats, exterior primers, interior primers, like it's, a huge range of standard coatings that you can spray through this unit. It's a pretty sweet unit. It's still a touch up unit. So what that means is it's ideal for small projects. Who's this unit actually for? Well, it's a small unit. It's mainly made for touch ups. So if you're a trade painter and you're in the repaint game or if you're in the new build game, it doesn't really matter. In the new build game, if you've got small touch ups to do and you don't want to bring out your big unit and prime 15, 30 meters of hose, this is awesome for that. It'll spray your trims, your doors, your frames, you know, ceilings, wall sections, pretty much that whole project. Not only is it a great solution just in general for those small applications, but if you've also got hard to reach spaces like in cupboards, balustrades, or tight areas that you have to get around, cabinetry sort of, you know, priming, it's an awesome unit. It's super lightweight, it's super compact, and it's a finishing unit, so it's gonna give you a great finish and it's gonna get into all those tight spaces that you couldn't get to with a traditional handheld unit. If you're in the repaint game, it's a similar situation. You can do touch-ups on your doors, your frames, your trim, all that stuff. And it's just, again, a super compact system. A lot of older homes, they have lots of weird little corners and sections and hard to reach closets. This is a unit for that. If you thought that the handheld unit was great for smashing out cornices, well, this tops that because you don't have to carry all the weight on your wrist, wearing out your wrist, spraying those cornices. The unit attaches to the belt and then you have no weight in your hand except for this super lightweight hand piece. So much better. In the DIY space as well, a great unit for doing furniture touch-ups if you're doing furniture flipping or even if you have small bits and pieces you want to get to, um, you just love to do the project yourself. This is a great unit in that range. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, pricing. This unit sits just over $2,100 AUD at $2,145. So it's not the cheapest unit in the range. However, it definitely is a premium unit and there's nothing like it on the market. Thanks for watching guys. 
Super stoked with the unit. We can't wait to use it more. Stay tuned, check out the channel. We've got heaps of content coming. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments or anything you wanna see, make sure you comment it below. Happy spraying. Thank you.